Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It's Anna Gibbs. And today uh, we are going to talk about your bucket list. And I'm excited about that for many reasons. Um, so today is October 4th. And it's my pleasure to be with you and hang out with you here every week. Um, it is really something that has brought a lot of meaning to my life. And I trust that you guys are finding a lot of value in this. So I'm glad that you're here. Good morning to everybody on Facebook. Thanks for watching there. And and I love when we have some people who join me on Zoom uh, because that just brings the energy. And, you know, life is all about energy. So thank you, ladies, for being here uh, because that fuels me and that gets me excited. And um, if you are finding value in this group, I would love for you to share with people that you know. So invite them to join the Facebook page. Uh, tell them about this um, Monday morning session. I know it's early for some people and that was intentional too because I think it gives us an opportunity to create some discipline and focus and get started first thing on a Monday morning a little bit early, yes. Uh, so it's it's not uh, gonna allow you to hit the snooze button if you wanna participate with me at a high level. And that really, I think, can can get us going in in, in motion and forward for the week. So today I wanna to talk to you about the benefits of a bucket list. And it's timely for me because I was away last weekend. Um, I did not have a session on Monday, as some of you know, because I was a little bit off the grid. I decided that I was gonna go on a uh, personal retreat with my friend and business partner, Rosemary. And it was really a great experience for us because it gave us a chance to pull back and reset. It gave us an opportunity to have some fun and some R&R, &R. but really we spent um, a lot of time thinking about what we wanted for the future, for our company, for the businesses we have together, for ourselves, for our families. And I just wonder how many of you are taking the time to do that enough, if at all. Who's ever done a personal retreat or a business retreat or a couple's retreat? My husband and I um, whether he knows it or not, we'll be going on a couple's retreat at the, at the end of the year. <laughs> We've done it before last year with COVID, of course, changed a lot of things. Uh, we were retreating all the time. Uh, yet uh, this year, I'd like to go back to our habit of getting away for a long weekend. And same thing, you know, just connecting as a couple and, um, and talking about what matters most in our relationship, our marriage, our family, you know, what are our goals going forward? Um, you know, not so much about each of our work or business goals, but more about our goals as a couple. And, you know, sometimes we talk about investments, we talk about contributions we want to make to the community and to charities, you know, and basically we get into conversations around the legacy we want to leave. And, you know, I, I recognize that for a lot of people, this is like, whoa, <laughs> it's like, wow. But if we don't take the time to plan, and if we don't take the time to create our future, someone else will create it for us, right? So I just want that to sit with you for a minute. If you don't take the time to really create your future, someone else will create it for you because you'll become the, um, I guess, you know, the victim of someone else's plans for you, right? Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me here on Zoom. Um, and so if we're not taking that time to invest in ourselves and create vision for ourselves, then, you know, we're going to become a victim of the circumstances and other people's plans. So all that being said, this morning, I want to focus on this one exercise that I would love to encourage all of you to do after you hear about this more this morning, and that is to create your own bucket list. So on our Facebook group last night, I referenced the movie, I think it was done in the 80s. Who remembers that movie? Uh, Morgan Freeman was in it and Jack Nicholson, right? The bucket list, right? So if you saw the movie, these two older gentlemen um, are facing the end of their life because they've been told that they, um, you know, have a, um, a fatal disease or, or, you know, something that is going to uh, take their life. And so they decide that they're going to start this bucket list and they're going to go out and live large before the end comes. And, and, you know, I think that the opportunity to create a bucket list is something that we should do now, 
right now. We should do it at any age and we should, you know, build this bucket list as we go. And the reason for that, uh, and if you are familiar with how I roll here, I'm going to encourage you to write this down, right? Because I'm hopeful that you'll find a lot of nuggets and lessons in this. Here are what I would say are the benefits of a bucket list. And I've done this in no particular order, um, but it's it's just what I think you'll gain from having this, doing this exercise and keeping it like front and center and really working from this list. So the first thing I could I wrote down is that you will live your life more on purpose, right? Because you're becoming intentional about the things that you want to do. And so you will be living your life on purpose. And that means that you get to choose the things you want to focus on, right? So you're living your life on purpose. You get to choose the things that you want to focus on. And I think that, you know, we can fuel our bodies, we can fuel ourselves with a lot of things. Do we fuel our dreams? Do we fuel our spirit? And I think that's another thing that the bucket list does. It's fuel for our, for our minds, it's fuel for our spirit. Here's the other reason why you want to create a bucket list, especially coming off of last year, right? Get, it gets you out of zombie mode. What do I mean by zombie mode? Well, we've all been there, right? Some of us maybe get stuck there. It's what happens at the end of the day when you find yourself sitting on the couch watching nothing really stimulating, or you're playing with your phone, or you're scrolling through Facebook, or all those things that we do, right? That kind of puts us in a little bit of a zombie mode. Uh, sometimes it happens to us when we first get up in the morning or, or at the end of the day. And I think if you create a list, like a bucket list, where you have intention and these things, and here are some more nuggets to write down, a bucket list should connect you to your values, right? And you're excited about doing these things, it should move you out of zombie mode where you say to yourself, you know what, I don't have time to sit around for too long, right? I have, like, I have stuff I wanna get to here. So it gets us out of this zombie mode that I think we find ourselves in. Um, I'm not sure if I said this, but the other thing that I love about creating the bucket list is that it really connects me to my values, right? Because I, I think that when you start writing the bucket list, some things are fun, some things are a little crazy, but then there are things on my bucket list, like start a charitable foundation, right? So it gets me thinking about like, what is important to me? What are my values? And, and how do I wanna live that out? Another reason why you want to create the bucket list is because it stretches your thinking and it encourages you to dream big, right? So dreaming big is, is, is about enjoying life and, as I said, having fun. Um, here's another reason why you want to create the bucket list. Goals bring more goals, right? It's like a muscle. So as you start to exercise your ability to set and achieve goals, your brain, right, is being programmed and your brain is seeing the results and it's feeling the results and it wants to create more of that. So goals bring additional goals, right? We start to set more goals. So we live a bigger life. We get creative. Um, and here's another great thing about a bucket list. You're creating experiences. And those experiences may not just be for yourself. You might be creating shared experiences. You might be, you know, uh, creating a goal on your bucket list that involves your family, your spouse, a business partner, whatever. And so that's exciting because now you're creating a legacy or leaving a legacy. And you're also creating an experience and an opportunity for growth for somebody else, right? So talk about getting out of zombie mode, right? So this is a really, so creating a bucket list is very action oriented. Um, and of course, it's all about growth, self-improvement. I just kept writing. Um, and it helps you focus on what you really want, right? Like it helps you focus what you really want because you're taking the time to think about and set intentions rather than just doing that autopilot movement through life, right? It gets you to really focus on what you really want. I think I mentioned this, it, it can get you out of your comfort zone. Uh, so I have a few things on my bucket list. And, and here's the reality, guys. Um, my intention is there. 
it may or may not happen, but the fact that I put it on there, like for me, something out of my comfort zone would be a zip line, right? That that would be way out of my comfort zone. So it's important to put those things on your bucket list too, right? Because if you're not willing to challenge yourself, then are you really looking to grow? And is it really an opportunity to create this amazing experience? A lot of times, I know it's true for me, our bucket list can be full of places you want to go and see, right? So, so this can also be huge because if it is around travel, right? So think about all the things that go into a trip or a vacation, right? A lot of planning and a lot of uh, planning around resources and finances. So if you have a lot of, of things on your bucket list that involve travel, you'll have to fund that, correct? So think about the domino effect. If you are really intentional about the things on your bucket list, um, then will it have you working at a higher level? Will it have you setting different goals around income, right? And developing streams of income, passive income, wealth. And if anyone has questions about that, let me know. But I think that it will kind of kick you into gear because now you're saying, well, so one of the things on my list is an African safari. Okay. That, that requires a lot of planning and that's definitely going to happen. I definitely am going on this African safari. And so that's going to require a lot of planning. It's going to require, you know, a, a certain amount of money, right. To pay for this trip. My husband um, and I've, I've adopted one of his, you know, goals. He wants to cruise the Panama canal, same thing, right? So now we have to have in terms of planning, you know, not just the motivation, but we have to be able to fund it. So that means that I may have to create bigger goals on my business side to do that. So there's this great domino effect, I think, that can happen with uh, your bucket list. Um, let's see. I think it. I think I've talked about some of this already. Like it gets you unstuck. It can help you move forward, right? Because we talked about getting out of zombie mode. It's creating excitement, joy, motivation. Um, it can improve the quality of your life. You might even be find that because of some of the things on your bucket list, you're becoming more physically fit, more financially fit, right? More cognitive about what you want out of life. Here's another thing I wrote down. You're going to be the life of the party. Just think about how interesting you're going to be. All the conversations you get to start, all the questions people ask you, because you know you're going to live it out there on social, right? You're going to share, you know I'm going to take a picture of me being on an African safari, right? So that becomes a conversation piece. So that may be a fun part of, of this for you, right? Um, and so those are just some of the reasons why you should start this list today. Now, if you want some help on how to get started, I can give you an easy one or two step process. Are you ready? Okay, first step, get a pen. Second step, a piece of paper. And the third is start dreaming. It's that easy, okay? You can do it on your, on your laptop. I am still pretty old school, I just have to tell you. Um, so we were writing it last week when we started at Ro Rosemary and I. Um, and so I like writing. There's just that connection. We know, you know, a lot of research has shown the connection between your brain and the pen, right? And just how that creativity starts to flow. So for me, it's writing it out. So you can get a journal, you can get a piece of paper, it doesn't matter. Here's the key though. You have to look at it all the time. Like this is just like any other goal that we set. It cannot be put in a file. It can't be put away in a journal. It has to be something you carry with you and you look at, if not every day, multiple times through the week, right? Why? Because you need to make the connection. Your, your RAS, right? I'm going to get a little bit scientific with you. The reticulator, reticulating activating system in your brain needs to get like lit up when it sees this, right? Because every time you look at this, it's going to create an emotional reaction and your brain is going to jump into that and say, oh, this is what we, what we want to call into our lives, right? And so now in a subconscious level, your brain is going to work to support you. And on a spiritual level, the universe is here to support you. So as you write this out and you read it and you talk about it and you dream about it and you plan it, like I've even gone as far as in the margin here on some of them to put the year I'm going to accomplish it. 
right? So now it's really becoming a, a systematic approach to this. So my subconscious mind, it wants to support us. It, it, it's saying, okay, all right, let's make this happen. The universe is looking at this saying, all right, you've called this into action. You put this down on paper, girl, we're going to help bring it to you, right? So be careful what you ask for, because I'll probably be on the zip line pretty soon and saying, how did this happen? Well, because I, I called it into existence. It's that easy, honestly it's manifestation, right? We want to manifest all these opportunities. So wherever you write it is fine, as long as you can see it and revisit it often. And I would, I would just let yourself free write. It doesn't, and don't question what comes up because that's another, for me personally, why I, I think writing it out with a pen is powerful because it really does stimulate the unconscious mind and stuff is just going to come bubbling up to the surface. And you're going to maybe have a conscious moment and say, well, where'd that come from? That's not, don't discount it, write it down because if your unconscious mind is pushing it forward, there's a desire there, whether you are aware of it or not, the desire is there and your conscious mind is probably blocking it for different reasons, right? So whatever comes up, write it down and let yourself write. Uh, I mean, come up with a hundred things. It doesn't matter. And then go back through it and, and decide what am I going to work on right now? What am I going to work on next year? What am I going to work on the next six months? And just like any other goal you set, it is about chunking it down, right? And it's about focusing on what you want to do now. So it's easy to write this stuff out and say, okay, yeah, well, you know what? When I turn 75, I'm going to do that. No, it's about what can I do right now? And then what can I do in six months from now? And what can I do in another six months from now? So I think it's um, also, here's another tip, and I've, I've shared this with you before, and you'll find it in the resource section of the Facebook group, the Wheel of Life exercise, right? Gary Keller writes about the seven circles in the One Thing book, which I actually, that was an, another thing we did on our uh, retreat. If you have any questions about this, let me know. But these are the parts of your life that make up your whole self, right? So um, some of those things uh, are your physical health, your spiritual life, your finances, your business, your job or career, your personal life, your key relationships, right? So as you are creating this bucket list, think about all the areas of your life and experiences that you want to have in, in each one of those areas that will create a profound effect. Right. So that's another way that this can become really purposeful. Um, and as I said, just have some fun because, you know, it's really about getting out of your comfort zone and living a bigger, fuller life. So it's OK if some things are a little crazy on the list or silly. It's OK. Like, OK, so one of the things on my list is to be Cinderella for a day at Disney World stand at the castle and say hi to people. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Karen, you want to do that too? So I think it ha you have to have some fun, right? You have to channel your inner child, right? What are the things that you dreamt about? So here are some more tips to get you thinking. What are the things you used to dream about as a kid, right? What are the things that you used to daydream about, you know, and, and maybe that can show up on your bucket list. Um, what are the experiences you want to be able to have or share or give or talk about? Um, and I think that, you know, this is the purpose of our life, right, is to create amazing experiences and for us to really, you know, go through life uh, living out loud uh, and, and for us to improve our life as much as possible. So uh, that's my message for you today is to get started with a bucket list. So I would love to hear if anyone has any thoughts questions. Does anyone have a bucket list that they're working from right now? Hello to everyone on Facebook too. If you have any comments, I've got you up. So I'd love to, you know, see and hear from you as well. So what are your thoughts this morning? You know, I, I think it's, it's about daring yourself to dream bigger because for me, sometimes I've tried to create a bucket list and I stop myself with thinking things are unrealistic or I'll never be able to do it, or it's not something that, you know, and, and you talking about tying those items into other goals, you know, work on your business to fund the money, to be able to do some of these things that you think are unattainable, piecing all of that together, I think is extremely important and not getting in my own way of telling myself that something's not possible. I love that, Erin. Yeah, it's really living on purpose. 
right? And realizing how it's all connected mm -hmm. and how that one dream is going to help you uh, develop other goals because you might need to fund it or fuel it. So thank you. I love that. Anybody else have any thoughts? Hi, Carolyn. Good morning. Hey, I, um, I like getting out of the zombie rut ah. because I'm in it mm -hmm. every day. I'm in it. Yeah. You and know, and you're to, not alone. So many people I, are. I have to consciously like get myself out of the house to go for a walk, which is something I love to do, but I just stopped. I mean, COVID yeah. hit and I just stopped. I don't, it's not that I have to be near people. I'm walking outside, but I, I, I psychologically, I don't, I don't know what I, what I did to myself or, or COVID helped do it or whatever, but I'm slowly fighting my way back out to be, to be my own self again. Yeah, that's good. You know, I find I found myself in it too. Uh, for full transparency, you know, I think like we have to be honest, right? COVID has changed everything. It has, and some things that have changed are good, and some things are still, you know, we're we're trying to to navigate and understand it, right? And some things may never be the same again. Yet that doesn't mean that we can't move forward in a good way, in a positive, in a big way. And I think just being aware that we can get stuck in this zombie mode is the first step. And I think, you know, for different reasons, I have found myself in that place. Sometimes it's because, you know, we're working at a really high level right now. Um, in, in our company, we're seeing a lot of expansion. Um, I'm involved in a lot of that growth and a lot of, you know, I have a lot of responsibility as all of you do, right? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, because for me, sometimes because I'm working at that high level, um, I tell myself it's okay to just chill and veg and, um, and, and, and it is a little bit yet I'm learning more about what that has to look like for me. And what that could look like that still stimulates other parts of me and still helps me achieve my goals. So instead for me, this is for me, instead of sitting and watching TV or getting into my phone, it could be, you know, and I just had this conversation with my husband yesterday, like getting back in my routine with yoga and getting up and doing that stretching and meditating, even if it's 20 minutes, right? Because that could be a reset. Um, and so I find that 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 at least is really helping me move forward, you know, physically and spiritually. So thank you for saying that because you're, you're not alone and we get sometimes we just get ourselves on that hamster wheel. And I think that it's a call to action when we want to have other goals like this bucket list, because then it motivates us and we need time to do other things. So it gets us out of of that that path that we find ourselves stuck on. Anybody else have anything they want to share before we move on to the rest of our day? Anyone on Facebook? Let me know if you have anything that you want to uh, mention. Any takeaways or ahas? That's good. All right. Listen, you guys, this was great. Yeah, Karen, did you have something to say? Yes. Okay. Yes, good morning. I, I need my, moj my mojo back. <laughs> That's why I do this every week. It's exactly why I do it and so. named it this. It came out of COVID. Every week, Julissa and Amara and I get together for about five hours in her house and push each other. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's great. She has two desks. I bring my laptop. And you work together and, in that shared space. Yes, and absolutely. That's great. Are you sort of like accountability partners then? Yes, we are. Love it. That's awesome. You'll have to get her on this uh, mojo. I'm going to try. I know. Well, she can always. So again, you know, I know it's early, but I record it. It's it's on my YouTube channel. I do share it on the Facebook group so people can watch it anytime. Um, but uh, as I said earlier, I chose this time because it was an open spot on my calendar because I'm literally going to jump on a conference call now in three minutes. Um, but it is it is sometimes a good way for us to just start the discipline first thing on a, on a Monday morning early and set our mindset to where it needs to be. So thank you all for being here this morning and for sharing. And um, again, if you find value in this, please help grow the group. Uh, my goal is to get to a thousand members uh, by the uh, before Thanksgiving. So if we can all share the group with one person, we would certainly be there and encourage them to uh, jump on Zoom or watch it on our Facebook page. But thank you again for being here. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for 
contributing and um, start that bucket list. And if you are willing to share some things on your bucket list on our Facebook page, I think that would be so fun. Um, and I'll be the first one to get started with that and uh, have a powerful week. And I'll see you back here next Monday. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, Anna. Have a good day.